to a George update, also known as Get Together and Congregate. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, what's today? Today's like the 8th, 8th of April, man. Holy crap. And uh, the big guy is still out here in the shop, as you can tell. And uh, he's very happy and acclimated with, with Adele and I. And the reason he's still out here is he's not fixed, so he's got a big old set of balls on him, and being a male cat, their urine can stink a lot. You also don't want him, when he comes into the house, even though the girls are fixed, to get all fucking rapey and shit, because that's just not cool. <laughs> now, we had scheduled a, a veterinarian appointment to get him um, neutered, and that wasn't going to be until like, May the 10th or something. Crazy wait times because of the flu. But uh, I digress. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So uh, we were calling back every week to see if there's any cancellations. And luckily enough, as uh, it were, an opening came up on the 16th of April. So George is going to town for a ride. That's going to be a fucking stressful day for him. Hey, any day of the year, you'll get your nuts chopped off. It's a stressful day, but uh, the car ride's not going to be too cool. Going into the covid zone, it's not going to be cool. And then uh, when he comes back, we'll give him a couple of days hanging out in the shop here. His little cat cage right here. He's got a nice big cage there that uh, we've been acclimating him to, as that will be his uh, mode of transportation to town. Uh, we're not going to try to fit him in a little cat carrier because I don't know if you can tell, but he's actually a really big cat. Well, here's his head. Eh? Like it's the size of a softball. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he's doing well. Again, uh, the same uh, modalities are employed where uh, myself or Adele come in here several times each and every day and spend five or ten minutes. This is the morning wake up. Um, he's in his, his kibbles shortly. And uh, he actually goes and sits in the cage and waits for you to put his kibbles in there. Uh, so yeah, the other part of this video is uh, talking about congregating with one another. Obviously, uh, wherever you may be on this fucking space rock, you're subjected to some tyrannical and nonsensical lockdown rules. So, I'm here to implore uh, you to do uh, the simple things. Simple things like nurture your soul, nurture your social spirit by spending time with family and friends. There is a certain church, I do believe it's in Alberta, that has been going against lockdown measurements with its congregation and getting together. They've had all sorts of bullshit journalism out there, taking uh, photographs of people's license plates, of them, their families, their children, um, people that are on the side of uh, truth and freedom have have verbally confronted them to ask them why they're doing these things and you know, these photographers are all done up with balaclavas and they're hiding their identities. It's, it's, it's really stupid the level the, uh, the COVID EC has gone on. But, you know, in March of last year I dropped that video coincidence that basically spelled out what the fuck we're, we're living with right now. So the parasites that be, the powers that be, shutting down small mom and pop businesses, restaurants, retail businesses, while allowing, you know, their friends in big business to just make bank the most profitable years ever for mega corporations, 2021. The largest redistribution of wealth. You're such a beautiful boy. The largest redistribution of wealth in recorded history. It's just been a shit show. So this particular church, pastors have been charged and, uh, They've taken it to the step where they physically have blocked the church with fencing to keep the congregation out. So that's why I'm here today. My humble suggestions to you are simply, as I mentioned, spend time with family and friends, nurture the love, share that most precious gift that is time with one another because there's no guarantee of how much time we get, as well as a way of peacefully protesting. Pick <laughs> Pick a business that's allowed to operate, and then, en masse, in large numbers, go there and hang out. Hold your, uh, hold your service. Have a social meeting. 
Maybe uh, you're in a, uh, a support group for an addiction. Maybe you're in a support group because of um, mental or physical issues. All I'm saying is, get together, do not spend a single dollar, <laughs> and uh, do yourself a favor, do the economy a favor, do your friends and family a favor, and get together and peacefully protest against the nonsensical lockdowns, the curviases, and all the other atrocities that are actually being committed against us in our societies. Well, I should get a move on because there's always lots of stuff to do. This guy is just a love bug. Um, he, I, he would sit here all day and just let me give him some TLC. My buddy. Like I said, he's a big boy. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining me for this uh, little bit of a, a mean rant and blaze. Uh, George and I say, see you next video. <laughs>